This is the Victorian Club bi-monthly survey. It's uh, very well attended. The surveyors are looking at the lineup to get an appreciation of the overall quality of the group and the individual animals therein. As we have choice of surveyor, the owner of the dog selects from the surveyor group present to, to survey their dog on the day. Uh, the surveyors know who they've got uh, from the registrar, Jill, and they're currently looking at the dogs in particular that they are about to survey. Once this overview is, has taken place, there will be a gun test, a crowd test, and measuring and weighing before the surveyors individually survey those dogs and record their findings. The importance of this is that each dog is treated exactly the same in approaching the crowd, uh, going through the crowd and leaving the crowd. At both ends of the, both ends of the crowd test, the dog will be uh, given a temperament test by individual surveyors. What we're looking for is fear, apprehension, um, and any sign of, of an incorrect temperament. Just what is wanted for a working dog is, is a dog that can accept people, can accept movement, um, and is quite amenable. Otherwise, the dog finds it difficult to work. If he's more concerned about being frightened or whatever, or aggressive, then his mind isn't tuned in to work. It's very important that the crowd members treat every dog exactly the same way, so that uh, fairness is well and truly established and on display. As you can see, the dog is unconcerned with the surveyor's attention, and that's exactly what we want. Alert, aware, but not frightened. As you can probably see, there are numbers of, a number of surveyors standing back from the crowd, just observing what's going on, and any comments will be fed into the group at the conclusion of the crowd test. Okay. One more crowd. <laughs> the sound of the gun is a sharp crack and that can ups upset some dogs whose uh, physiological balance of the ears is not correct. It's very important for a working dog to be gun sure. That is, there should be no sign of aggression nor should there be no sign of fear. What is required is a balanced reaction. As you can see, all dogs were steady. They were alert. They weren't frightened. What we do see if a dog is frightened is a bit of hyperventilation, uh, walking around the handler, backing off, uh, padding in the front, but these dogs are all fine. To check their dentition, to measure them and to weigh them. It's very important that the dog is uh, in the correct condition uh, for his size, uh, for his weight. As you can see, the measurement is on a concrete base. The procedure these days is that the dog is measured by surveyors and they agree upon the size of the animal. Invariably, the measurement is the same, but it can vary by half a centimetre or so. For various reasons, including the dog's positioning, whether the dog's been called and standing more erect. For the actual measurement, the dog should be standing with his forelegs directly under the body, perpendicular to the ground, and the back leg should be in a four square position. As part of the measurement process, the uh, depth of chest is measured because it has to be in a certain ratio to the dog's height. The standard requires that it be no more than 50% of the dog's height, but no less than 45. 
48% being the norm. The checking of the tattoo in the dog's right ear is the first step in identifying the dog and is absolutely essential that it is correct because it ties into our hip dysplasia scheme, our elbow dysplasia scheme, our haemophilia scheme. Here the surveyor is checking the dog's bite. It should be a correct scissor bite and for those people who are unaware it should be a scissor bite right around the whole length of the jaw on both sides, not just the front teeth or the front incisors and canines. The dog should have 42 teeth in predetermined uh, sets of canines, incisors, premolars and molars and if they're not all there then the dog is penalised. Extra teeth in some cases are penalised, in others not. It depends upon the severity of the extra tooth. The teeth that aren't penalised are the P1s on the upper and lower jaws. As you can see, the dog's being weighed on electronic scales. The measurements as they are taken are given by the surveyor to the registrar who is completing the standard uh, detailed survey worksheet. From that worksheet uh, it will be checked at the end of the day and handed <coughs> to the national registrar for preparation of the actual certificate. After the measuring and weighing exercise, the dogs proceed to be individually surveyed by the individual surveyors. There is a standard pre-printed form which lists the dog's physical characteristics and the surveyor notes all those and including a general description of the dog similar, similar to a show critique and at the end of the, on the reverse side of the form, it lists the particular virtues and faults of the animal in question, uh, but more importantly still is a recommendation for breeding, which is very important for the uh, novice owners with, with females uh, wanting to mate them to suitable males, and the experience and uh, guile and so on of the breed surveyor is, is uh, brought into question. After the, all of the surveyors fin finish their individual uh, surveys, the dogs are brought back and if there are any queries a surveyor has that he wishes to uh, pass by his fellow surveyors on the day for comment, uh, that's where that happens. It could be a question of whether the dog on the move uh, doesn't move well enough or the dog when it's stacked up in stance uh, there's a particular problem with, a, with, say, the croup or the wither or the forequarter or whatever. All these things are, in fact, discussed if the surveyor uh, wishes to do so with a particular problem, with a particular animal. Also what's discussed, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the breeding recommendations of mating females to suitable males. Uh, that's tossed around a bit and uh, where there is a male, uh, the surveyor has to be very careful on, on uh, his breed recommendations as to where that male goes.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rizak Alexa. Her sire is Quint von Jerichstuhl and her dam is Schaeferhorn Dienta. As you can see, this is an absolutely beautiful bitch. She presents a very lovely picture, both in stance and on the move. She is very well coloured, glamorously coated bitch with very good head and expression, well set ears, good eye colour, lovely length of neck, high withers and absolutely firm back. She has well laid group and good forequarter angulation. Perhaps if I wanted to be critical, I'd like to see her a little more angled in the forehand. She has a very good length of upper arm. She's very well angled in the hind quarter. If you watch her on the move in all phases of the gating, she's absolutely convincing with her overall firmness and dryness. This for me is a very lovely bitch. She has no line breeding, so for selection of a partner, her lines are pretty open. This is an outstanding bitch, congratulations.